Hi guys, it's Darren here from deepblueapps.com. We've got a brand new template. It's a point and click adventure style template in the realm of the very popular Grizzly Manor, um, etc. etc. Now, we've got a robot here. Press on the robot, it looks sad. Um, we need to fix this guy up. Now, it's all on one scene. Um, sorry, it's on two scenes. You can see this is the second scene here. Um, we can find items in any order. You can see here we've sort of got a box with a cross on it. Um, I wonder what's inside. We'll take a look at that in a minute. There's a bolt here. Uh, you found a screw. We'll go back. Um, let's have a look at what's over here. Rubber duck. Quack quack. We've got a, a wrench there. Now I just want to show you something that's really cool. Click on the uh, the screw. Wonder where the hole is. Obviously, it's in the top of his head. Um, so we'll click on the screw and we'll get the screw in there. Now you notice we've got an empty slot. Now it will fill up progressively. So when we collect an arm, it won't actually fill up in slot four, five, six, or seven. It will actually know that slot two is now empty. So it's really nice. It was made. Um, we we're going to make it into a full game, but obviously uh, my schedule is pretty tight. So we decided to release it as a template. Now this was made before tables, however it's still very easy to implement. And you can even convert it to tables if you so wish to, to do that. Um, but like I've said, it was made before tables uh, was out for game salad. Um, have you got a screw? Yes we have. We'll use the wrench to screw the head in. And we've got a shoe there. Let's just click on the robot, then the shoe. You don't actually have to click on the arm and then the robot, you can click on the robot, then the arm, so you can do it either way. So that's rather nice as well. And there's actually puzzles within puzzles. You notice we've got a box earlier. Um, now we've just opened that box and there's a heart. Now it's saying it's stop beating. Now we can't place the heart inside the robot. Um, I wonder if we can spark it into life. Strong electric current, so let's just try that. And now we've got a beating heart and we'll just complete the puzzle. Um, by selecting the robot and the heart and there you go. So it's rather nice. Um, it's over two scenes but obviously you can build on it and expand on it. Some really nice code in there. Um, level one's on one scene and then when you go up it changes scene to level two. Obviously you can have as many areas as you want. Um, and like I've said, really nice template guys and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for the support over at deepblueapps.com and bye for now.